Our 17th day of 18 in 2018 will show you how to import and export fixture profiles. These might be profiles that you pulled down from mashare.net or perhaps they're from another show file. If you want to go all in and play along with my example, you'll need to download a couple of other things from my site. You'll want the custom fixture that we're importing today, along with a folder of images that we'll use for the gobos. You can get them from consultrainer.com or use the links in the YouTube description. If today is your first day of 18 in 2018, you can get the show file that we're using from those links as well. Strictly speaking, you don't have to use my fixture and images, but if you're doing the whole 18 in 2018 workshop, this is a fixture that we'll need for tomorrow's video as well. If you haven't already, back up your show as day 17. We're almost done. If you grab the downloads, be sure that they've been unzipped. Before we move into on PC, let's look at where you want to store the information. The fixture profile is an XML file that can be added to your thumb drive in the appropriate folder. Open your drive, locate the GRAMAL2 folder, and from there open the library folder. This is where any fixtures that you import, export will live, so drop the XML file in there. Because this is a special fixture that I created for this workshop, there are custom Gobo images that I want to add. If you're not doing the workshop part with us, or if you just have a profile from MA Share, you can skip this next part. For the rest of us, we need to drop these images to the user Gobo folder on our computer's hard drive. This is just like what we did on day eight. In program data, find MA Lighting Technologies. Select Grand MA, followed by the software version folder that we're using. Here it's 3.3.4. In here, find Gobos, and lastly, the user Gobos folder. Drop all of those PNG files in here. It's important that we do this before we import the fixture, otherwise the custom Gobos won't come in correctly. Okay, now for everyone, we go back to MA2 on PC and go into the patch and fixture schedule. Let's add a new layer called Feedback Gobo. For our fixture, we'll click From Library, and in this window, we switch to our thumb drive. There's my fixture. Click Import. For now, we'll just add one. I'm changing the user number and the patch here. You can change yours to whatever you like. Close the window and save. Your profile is now on the show. If you ever want to export a fixture profile, go back into Patch and Fixture Schedule and go into Fixture Types. Select the profile you want to save and click Export. Pick your drive and you're done.